Corps of Cadets, welcome back. I hope everyone had a relaxing and safe spring break. It's been three weeks since our stand down to address sexual harassment and sexual assault, and I wanted to follow up with you on the next steps. First, I want to thank you all for the open and candid discussions that occurred that day. We received exceptional feedback from all of you and a team of staff and faculty from across the academy reviewed each and every one of your exomes. This input is serving as the foundation for an op order that will soon be published and will also be a part of the larger long-term plan that will be published later this summer. This plan will describe how we will create a safer community at West Point. I also want to take a moment to acknowledge the brave men and women who trusted the process to report experiences of sexual violence on the Service Academy Gender Relations Survey, as well as those who trusted the systems of advocacy, response, and accountability in reporting experiences to our SHARP personnel, both before and after the stand down day. You are the true inspiration for all us to get this right. The entire West Point leadership is committed to ensuring these incidents do not happen. Each of you deserves to live, work, and study in a safe community. And we will demonstrate our commitment to this effort each and every day going forward. When I spoke to you as a core a few weeks ago, you heard a concerned superintendent. Concerned that many in our family who volunteered to support and defend their country have been hurt and mistreated in such a widespread and harmful way. Concerned that as your superintendent, I was not able to prevent these crimes from happening in the first place. And concerned that many of you continue to carry an unfair burden alone. To the survivors of sexual violence, I'm committed to you and to the safety and support you deserve. During the stand down, I was encouraged by the incredible bravery exhibited by many of our survivors who shared their stories. I was encouraged when I observed fellow cadets, staff and faculty providing support to one another. And I was encouraged by the sharing of ideas and recommendations and by the collective ownership that I witnessed. Again and again, I heard two simple yet powerful messages. We must and we will be better and we are all in this together, every member of this community. The stand down was just the first step, understanding we have a problem and committed to being a part of the solution. As I said to you that day, we as a core, as the entire West Point team, as a family must own this issue. I am asking each and every one of you to work every day to strengthen our culture of character so that your teammates your brothers and sisters never have to experience these horrific acts ever again. I firmly believe that by working together, the Corps of Cadets will affect change. So I need you to be stewards of the culture in the Corps, of our profession, and of our Army values. You, we, owe it to each other. Let me be clear. We already have several efforts and initiatives in place to address this problem and some of them are having a positive effect. Now, we must integrate these efforts with some new initiatives to be more effective in addressing the problem and ensure that we are assessing their effect. I'm committed to equipping you with the necessary skills and abilities to own this issue and affect change here within the Corps and throughout West Point. And my team is already working toward that end. My vision for the United States Military Academy is one where every cadet can focus on developing into a leader of character without worrying about being disrespected or harmed. Where we all live honorably, lead honorably, and demonstrate excellence in every endeavor, but especially in the way we treat one another. We must, and working together, we will eliminate sexual harassment and assault from our ranks. Thank you.